Bad news, men. If you're over the age of 20, your testosterone levels have hit their peak. This means if you're over the age of 40, you are most likely dealing with some effects of decreasing testosterone levels. But don't fret, because there is a way to fight back and to actually win the fight against falling T levels. And the best news, you can do it all naturally, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fit After 50. I'm Jay, I'm a workout enthusiast, competitive natural bodybuilder, and I'm in my 50s. As always, if the content I'm putting out is of some help to you, do me a huge favor and put your thumb on the thumbs up button. And of course, as always, we want to hear from you and leave your comments in the comments below. Most men over the age of 40 have experienced that feeling that comes with a drop in your testosterone levels. It's no fun as it leaves you feeling sluggish, tired, unmotivated, and lacking the energy you once had to do the things you once did. One fact we cannot change is this. Men's testosterone levels hit their peak around 20, and besides the side effects I previously mentioned, low T levels can also leave you feeling down in the dumps, depressed, and even heavier on the scales as you start putting on more body fat. But every man wants to know, is there anything we can do about low testosterone levels to slow down nature's effects on the body? The good news is, yes, there are things you can do about it. Of course, one thing you can do is talk to your doctor, as you should always do, if you suspect your body is changing or you're not feeling quite the same as you used to. I've personally never done it, but many men elect to get TRT, or testosterone replacement therapy. Of course, to do this, your doctor will first want to run some tests and perform a blood test to check your T levels. And if it's determined your levels are low, your doctor will go over the different options with you. Like most medical treatments, there are side effects that your doctor will discuss with you before you decide to do this. But if you prefer to head this problem off and slow down the process of low testosterone happening to you, there are things that you can do yourself naturally. One thing you can do to naturally slow down the low T process is to lift weights. That's right. Something most of you are likely already doing is lifting weights. And weightlifting is a very effective method in not only preventing testosterone loss, but actually increasing your T levels. One study from just a few years back actually showed that obese men who were physically active saw better increases in testosterone levels than those men who only restricted their calories. Resistance training in general has a very positive impact on combating the lowering testosterone levels. This is why you always feel so much better after a good weight training workout. If you want to add something to that and be even more specific, work your legs because doing legs, because they're such large muscle groups, you will produce even more testosterone and growth hormone when you do those exercises. So always be sure to include some leg workouts with your routines. Another way you can minimize lowering testosterone levels is to be sure you're getting enough adequate sleep. The key word here is adequate. I talk often about rest, recovery, and sleep. I push for at least eight hours a night, but truthfully, nine hours a night would be even better. When you aren't sleeping good, many things in your body are affected, and one of them in men is they can experience lower testosterone levels. And this comes directly from poor sleep habits. So, if you're someone who likes to stay up late like I used to do, can't do it anymore, but I used to, but if you like to stay up late watching sports or movies or whatever you like to do at one o'clock in the morning, you may want to consider changing your habits when it comes to your sleep. According to Healthline.com, in an article they posted concerning low T levels, they reported a 2011 study that found sleeping only five hours per night was linked to a 10 to 15% reduction in testosterone levels in men. But in another study of older men who slept 9.9 .9 hours, they were found to have an increased testosterone level. Interestingly though, once you slept more than 9.9 .9 hours, you started having lower T levels again. One of our best built-in recovery mechanisms is sleep. 
And it happens to be the one thing many of us struggle with the most. One more way to combat the decline in T levels that I will tell you is to watch what you eat. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to avoid eating because most of you are into fitness and you know the right and wrong foods to eat in order to control weight, body fat, and muscle growth. You've read the magazines, you've read the books, you've watched the videos, you've heard all the things uh, that you should not eat. And speaking of that, I will be putting out a video uh, in the near future that tells you of things to avoid eating and things to eat. But for the purposes of this video, I want to focus and tell you on some of the foods that you should be eating to help promote healthy tea levels. If you've ever watched Popeye, you know that spinach was his go-to for extra power and muscle when he needed it most. Well, it seems there's something to eating spinach as it relates to our testosterone levels. Spinach contains magnesium, and magnesium regulates testosterone levels. There have been studies conducted on magnesium's effect on T levels, and it was found that increased magnesium levels led to higher T levels, and in one particular study, magnesium levels were attributed to lower T levels in men when the magnesium was lower in men. Of course, if you don't like spinach or other similar green leafy foods, talk to someone at your local health and nutrition store about a good magnesium supplement. Another reason for lower T levels could be you're not getting enough vitamin D. Guess what has good sources of vitamin D? And I personally eat a lot of this, eggs. According to the National Library of Medicine, in a reported study conducted, it was revealed that lower vitamin D levels were linked to lower testosterone levels. Eggs often get a bad rap, but I love to eat a combination of eggs and egg whites. In fact, I eat on average 10 to 12 whole eggs per week, and it is the egg yolk that provides much of the nutrients our bodies need and benefit from. And one of those nutrients is vitamin D. If you cannot eat eggs or you just don't care for eggs, again, there are supplements available that can assist you in bringing up low vitamin D levels. One other food I recommend you be eating for healthy testosterone levels is extra virgin olive oil. That's right, you're hearing me right, olive oil. Now, what you need to know is not all olive oils are created equally. Many olive oils sold in stores are small amounts of olive oil mixed with vegetable oils or other oils. What you want to find is true, pure olive oil. These will typically have harvest dates, not just expiration dates, and it should be stored in a darker bottle, which is designed this way to preserve the oil. But with the right olive oils, you will get many positive health benefits, and one of those is testosterone health. I personally only use a high quality olive oil. No other oil makes its way into my house. I cook with olive oil, I make specific olive oil drinks, and at times I use olive oil on salads. There have been studies that found a link between olive oil and testosterone levels in adults. It is believed that monosaturated fats may play a key role in this, just as eating sardines or fatty fishes can do the same thing. And these are also beneficial in supporting testosterone levels in men over 40. I will link some of this information in the description below for you to read and check out. But the bottom line is routine exercise and in particular resistance training along with a healthy eating lifestyle and proper rest and recovery will do a lot to assist you in maintaining healthy testosterone levels, which will improve your overall health and substantially help how you feel. I hope this video has been some help to you. As always, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you for watching, and until next time, go get fit.